This Boeing 747, which has just arrived in Surabaya, Indonesia, has an unusual cargo. 300 Australian dairy cows. Brought by plane to ensure a smooth journey, they are destined for Indonesia's biggest dairy farm, which is supplying coffee shops and supermarkets as far away as Hong Kong under the Greenfields brand. We believe that the keeping the cows happy is, is the core of our business. Uh, these cows are producing the milk that we sell, and the better we treat our cows, the better milk and the more milk we get. So it's really a very, very simple equation. By bringing them in by plane, uh, we shorten the travel periods, and that really puts a lot less stress on the animal. Here at Greenfields Farm near Malang in East Java, ambitious plans are afoot to double the number of cows to more than 15,000. That's to meet rising demand for fresh milk in Indonesia and around Asia, and it will make this one of the biggest dairy farms in the whole of the region. Indonesia's agricultural sector seems to be in a perpetual state of crisis, beset by falling yields and low quality output. Greenfield's milk, which was set up in 1997 by tycoon Handoyo Santosa, is one of a handful of Indonesian agricultural products that have made it successfully overseas. The company previously tried to disguise its Indonesian origins for fear of putting off consumers wary of the country's poor reputation for farming. But Jan Vistason, head of sales at parent company Ostasia, says they abandoned this approach to promote their product as honest milk, sourced and packed at a single farm in Indonesia. In, in Southeast Asia, where our markets are, we are very close to consumers. And actually we have a fantastic farm here with high quality milk at a level which we can, uh, we can sell to companies like Starbucks and other coffee chains and which we not only can sell in Indonesia, which is the biggest market, but which we can also export successfully to markets like Singapore and Hong Kong, which are very sophisticated uh, uh, consumer and retail markets. On the back of its successes with milk, Greenfields moved into cheese a couple of years ago. Italian connoisseurs might turn their noses up at it. But Greenfield's Indonesian mozzarella is making its way into a growing number of homes and restaurants across Asia. Soon, the company will also start selling ricotta cheese made from the whey that is a byproduct of the mozzarella production process. Greenfield's expansion plans in Indonesia and at its farms in China require huge amounts of capital. Such a substantial increase in supply entails big risks. But Vistason is confident that the growing middle class in emerging Asia will buy all the milk and cheese they can produce. The consumption of their products is increasing significantly, not only in Indonesia, but throughout Southeast Asia. And with urbanization, you have modern retailing that makes um, chill products available mm -hmm. to more people. Uh, but also things like the coffee culture drives the consumption of their products.